Things are starting to heat up in the video game world, and we gamers are the ones that are getting all the payoffs, and this is one of those things that really kind of gets me excited and amped up, and I'm sure that you guys are going to be that way too. Again, doesn't matter if you're a PlayStation fan, an Xbox fan, a Nintendo fan, or whatever, this is just good gaming news. This is just stuff that keeps console gaming alive and thriving and well, and really, honestly, at the end of the day, I think that this kind of stuff just keeps console gaming even worth more in the long run than it is already like i realized that console gaming in and of itself is just such an easy thing for everybody to do you get a console you plug and play you don't have to worry about upgrading for you know five six years whatever you know you're good to go uh, it's a little bit different situation than the pc if you want to spend a bunch of money on a pc yes you can have the latest and greatest but you're constantly upgrading and tinkering and there's issues and if there are issues there's, who are you going to go to, right? There's no PC company that's going to go, okay, well, you know, send it in if it's broke or whatever. You know, there's nothing like that. So that's one of the main reasons I love consoles. I mean, for honestly, I have a PS5. I have an Xbox Series X. Uh, you know, I feel like the Xbox Series X, for the power that it is, is beating any PC for the same $500 price point. You know, I don't see any $500 PC coming with a controller, being able to do ray tracing, 120 frames, uh, all that stuff that it comes with, you know, solid state drive, all that kind of stuff. Same thing with the PS5, right? For 400 bucks, you get a PS5, and, you know, it's got, like, one of the fastest solid state drives uh, around, ray tracing, 120 frames, comes with the amazing controller with haptic feedback, all the features that it comes with. Uh, I, I just feel like you're getting much more bang for your buck, and you don't have to worry about much else, uh, you know, from... Uh, from anything you know and, and that's great you know and i want to get into this because this is coming out and it's happening folks it's happening and i'm here for it trust me a video you don't want to miss hey there everyone i'm the crap gamer and of course this is crap gamer reviews your home for gaming news opinions reviews and so much more you'll probably notice some changes around here and hopefully that doesn't stop you from giving us a like and possibly maybe even maybe consider subscribing why not huh if you haven't already done so Thank you so much for choosing to spend some of your free time with me today. It really does mean a lot. You guys are fantastic. Uh, now, I just kind of wanted to point out some awesome things here. Uh, one thing is this. Uh, for me personally, I just feel like this is something that gets me excited. But is it going to get you excited? I don't know. But remember the other day I was talking about how it was rumored that Sony was going to do some backwards compatibility. And I get it. Like, not everybody cares about older games. I personally don't buy new consoles to play old games. But at the same time, I think it's incredible to be able to have the option to play some older games if you so choose and you keep your stuff that's very pc like as well one of the things that pc fans brag about is well i could play this game from you know 2000 and and it and it plays great like that's that'd be the cool thing you know you get to keep your stuff you don't have to hang on to all the old hardware but you know at the same time you can still use it and get some enjoyment out of it if you want to i'll be honest i've been meaning to go back and play metal gear solid 4 for years now believe it or not i mean that game is only available on playstation 3 and you know we, we never got a remaster we never got a remake i mean i doubt we ever would but it's like with things so murky right now we probably never would and that game came out in i think 2007 so yeah you know that's uh quite a bit old uh, 15 years old and and it's still one of the best games around so yeah i would definitely love the chance to play something like that again it would be great now this is something that's interesting ps3 games are popping up on the playstation 5 store itself and past rumors have claimed that sony is planning to launch a subscription service this year that will also include ps3 backwards compatibility now a little over a month ago reports chimed in that sony was going to launch a game pass competitor subscription service for playstation 5 in spring of 2022 that's this year uh codenamed spartacus which would also entail the ability to play ps3 games via backwards compatibility recent developments suggest that that might indeed be happening in the near future as spotted by multiple users on twitter playstation 3 games have been appearing on the playstation 5 store complete with the option to purchase them which of course hasn't been the case until seeing uh you know until now actually seeing as how the playstation 3 native games aren't play playable or purchasable on other platforms games such as dead or alive 5 prince of persia the two thrones hd prince of persia the forgotten sands bejeweled and jack 3 have all been spotted on the playstation 5 store while it's possible that some of these might simply be playstation now related listings interestingly enough the later two games that i mentioned are not part of playstation now lineup Last week, a new patent was uncovered filed by PlayStation 5 architect Mark Cerny and focused purely on backwards compatibility, which is very interesting. So people on Twitter are starting to see PlayStation 3 games popping up on the PS5 store. Now, the interesting part about this is the games that are popping up on the store, right? 
it's funny because honestly these games a lot of them aren't on playstation now and they're giving you sale prices now again i'm not uh one to say well is this for sure thing that this is happening or whatever but i do know that if you happen to look in the store and you see something that is on playstation now a little thing comes up and it says it's included with playstation now but i believe even if you're you know playstation now doesn't let you have the opportunity to buy uh, like ps3 games or ps2 games or anything like that that aren't you know they're streamable on there so i think that this is could be something definitely um among the along the lines of hey we're going to be able to get uh something out there that people are going to be able to buy now i would hope that it would be you know a little bit better or more than just um a few of these games uh to be honest with you i, I hope that it's like a bunch of them you know, because I don't want it to be a situation where it's not a, a ton of the games. Uh, honestly, I just would much rather have it be a lot of games. I know that it can be possible. I know that there's issues with... Here's the... Okay, so let me try to explain what I'm trying to explain here. Okay, so you know how all PlayStation... Pretty much every PlayStation 4 game is playable on a PlayStation 5, right? And pretty much every game that's playable... A PlayStation or a Xbox One game is playable on an Xbox Series X or S why can't it be that easy for the older games too i know that there's maybe they couldn't sell them but if they're backwards compatible why can't you play them like i never understood that like i got the whole idea behind you know if you wanted to sell them then there's licensing issues and stuff like that but if people already own them why not make something backwards compatible i know that might limit how many more sales you can get out of it but i never really understood why there was like such a cutoff date um behind all that you know so i do hope that everybody understands where i'm coming from or what i'm trying to say when i say that because it's super important to me that you know look look going forward it's just such an amazing thing that us as fans are able to go out there and go you know what the game that i buy right now i'm going to be able to play that years from now and you know i might even be able to play it better on my hardware you know and that's the thing that i hope to see before too long i want to see that ability come to fruition now at the same time i feel like you know sony could win some people over like listen that was a huge thing uh that used to happen all the time right this happened quite a bit and uh you know and i know that sony's been on the outs a little bit sometimes and they've said stuff like well you know it's a highly requested feature but who uses it like listen it's it doesn't matter you know if you can offer it and you have the ability to do it then do it you know do it i think that that would be um the smart thing to do the right thing to do because even if you have just a small percentage of people that use that or whatever i i think you can't underestimate that let's let's say for instance some people say oh well i don't play the campaign on call of duty or i don't play the campaign on halo but listen those of us that do enjoy those i would be devastated if they didn't include those aspects of the games despite the fact that i'm probably in the minority for enjoying both of those things so yeah you know never never kind of assume one thing or the other I, I for me personally i feel like this would be an incredibly smart move and i would love to see it although i wouldn't spend a tremendous amount of time with the backwards compatibility side of things i would definitely do use it i, I definitely would Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Rack them up, fact them up, crap gamer them up, crap gamer out.